Hi, Jay. This is my sister Mary Ignitus explains it all to you response, reading response. Um, wow. <laughs> I really like this show. Uh, I think it really incorporates a lot of the things that um, I've been kind of struggling with understanding both sides of with religion and censorship and religion being the be all uh and all be all and there's no way that it can be bad in any way and that's why it's censored so much because people who depict it as bad that's wrong because religion isn't bad in any way um but i think it's really interesting uh so basically, I mean, it opens up with her directly addressing the audience in this monologue in which she explains the universe according to um, being a Catholic, um, which is really the only truth she knows um, because she is a nun. And so, I mean, this is her whole life and what she bases her whole morals off of. Um, and I think that's quite interesting because it's a show that if Catholics were to sit down to, at the beginning they would, I feel like conservative ca- Catholics would like it a lot because it's preaching a lot of what they like. So it's kind of um, a warm up, I guess, into the rest of the show, which I think is actually really smart writing for the playwright. Um, yeah. But I think it gets itself in trouble later on when we meet some other characters in the show when she starts to question her former students that she had. And um, they end up telling her that all of their adult misery is from devotion. And this isn't what she's expecting at all, which is, I think quite interesting i don't know this whole show is just a big like what a lot of people are trying to tell to toxic christianity like they aren't trying to tell this to all christians or generalize it to everyone who's a christian is bad or everyone who's a catholic is bad but i think this show is really talking to those people who aren't willing to see the faults in their own religion and use their religion as an excuse uh rather than as a way to be better and to love all people unconditionally and then I know we talked about this in class about loving people conditionally and toxic Christianity and I think the show really relates to Corpus Christi as well um but yeah it's just such an interesting topic and I think that this religion and censorship is just so interesting to me it's just it's mind-blowing and I mean like It's interesting because Gary is a homosexual who is raped while attending seminary. And there's a lady in the show who's had two abortions due to being raped. And that's, like, obviously one of the huge factors why it's heavily censored and banned is because of those things so closely related in the church and with someone who they hold great respect for which are nuns and sisters and um, especially one named sister mary mary who catholics worship quite a lot and i think that was particular um and also it's heavily censored because they blame her for their problems and um yeah and like they're all seen as huge sinners and people of the world who don't aren't perfect Christians but the there's this one guy who comes back as a former student and he like beats his wife and he's an alcoholic but he's seen as a better sinner because he goes to church and he um tells his sins to the priest and So that way he's better. But the ending with him is just yikes. I'm just going to say that. The ending is yikes.